Hi again, Sonia Curtis with S. Curtis Properties in Los Angeles, California. Uh, today, I just wanted to go over um, commission, uh, what you are paying your real estate agent for. Now, there's a lot of confusion about it. I think because of all the TV shows with real estate agents, they're like, oh, if you sell a million dollar house, you're getting five or six percent. Well, that's not exactly true. The reason is because when the agent meets with the seller and signs a listing contract with them, they negotiate a commission price. It is standard to be about 5%, which is the local LA market you know, standard, but we're not supposed to set that by law, but that's usually what it is. It used to be 6% before the crash. Um, anyway, so it's 5% of the purchase price, but the agent also has a box that they check out for marketing your house that any other agent that represents a buyer that comes to buy your property gets half of that commission. So really, each agent in the deal, one representing the seller, one representing the buyer, are getting about 2.5% each. Now, of that 2.5%, each agent also has to split with their brokerage a, a cut of that. Sometimes it's 10%, sometimes it's 50% or 60% that the broker takes. Depending on how experienced the agent is and how long they've been doing it, if they're bringing in a lot of deals, the broker may give them a better split, but basically they also have to pay that. Then we also have to pay errors and emissions insurance. That's an insurance that covers us in case, you know, something goes wrong after the sale and uh, let's say the seller didn't tell you that there was a water leak in the kitchen two years ago, they repaired it and there was mold. The inspector didn't see it, but somebody got sick later on. They came back and sued. They're going to sue you, the agent and the, the seller possibly and the broker because you didn't disclose it. Now you need errors and emissions insurance to cover you because uh, it wasn't anything you knew about. Our job, especially, I'm very careful. I'm always telling my sellers disclose, disclose, disclose. But anyways, we need insurance. Um, the other thing we do is we pay for all the marketing ourselves. We pay for the photographs of your place. We pay for any um, drone photography. We pay for the signs that we use, all the open house signs, all the flags, all the um, technology to, to run our business. We pay for the MLS service every uh, six months. We pay for a board dues to be like, I'm in the Beverly Hills, Greater Los Angeles Area Association of Realtors. It's a big, long name. Um, also in the California Association of Realtors. Um, I pay for Facebook ads and marketing um, there is also transaction coordinators who you pay for every deal to have to help you keep all your contracts in place you have to obviously have printers and ink and computers and all of that there's technology that we pay for to be able to get you into those homes that are on super lockbox those don't come for free to realtors we pay for that so there's just so many expenses and we don't have a 401k we don't have health insurance so we pay for all that ourselves so I I just wanted you to understand like is I think there's a, a misconception that real estate agents just don't really do much and they just get all this money and it's really not true um, I can show you stacks and stacks and stacks of paperwork that I've been working on per deal and sometimes clients change their mind due to no fault of the agent and unless we close a deal we don't get a cent usually you know so just hope that that helps you. Um, we do provide service and value, expertise, knowledge, and we do a lot of work and we have a lot of expenses to do the work. So I do think it's worth paying for our services in the long run. Also, statistically, people that use real estate agents make more money than selling by themselves. Um, that's a statistically proven thing. Okay, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.